Make yourselves comfortable. Prayer for those that lost their beloved ones in this Pentecost service. We are assembled with our friends in the shadow that has fallen on their home. We raise our voices together in prayer to the Father above, asking for comfort and strength. We need light when groom darkens our homes. Whence can it come but from the creator of light? We need fortitude and resignation unto the chastening of the Lord. Whence can these come save from him who lays the burden upon us? Who among us has not passed through trials and bereavements? Some bear fresh wounds in their hearts and therefore feel the more keenly the kinship of sorrow. Others whose days of mourning are more remote still recall the comfort that somebody brought to their sorrowing hearts. And those of us who have not yet tasted of the bitter cure cannot know how soon we may be called to drink of it. All that we prize is but lent to us, and we must surrender it when God demands. 
we are travelers on the same road which leads to the same end this is the word of god Passover is gone on the season of Easter which is the holy season the holy book says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 16 from verse 9 seven weeks shut down numbered unto thee being to number the seven weeks from such time as thou bring it to put the stick up to the corn and thou shalt keep the feast of the weeks, which is Pentecost, unto the Lord thy God, with a tumbling of the free will offering of thy hand, which thou shalt give unto the Lord thy God. 
according to, as the Lord thy God has blessed thee and thou shalt rejoice before the Lord thy God thou shalt and before the Lord thy God thou and thy son and thy daughter and thy maid man servant and thy maid servant and the Levite that is within thy gate and the stranger that that the stranger and the fatherless and the widows that are among you in the place which the Lord thy God has chosen to place his name there and there shall remember that thou went a bad man in Egypt and thou shalt observe and do this statue may you rise all give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercies endure forever let all believers say for his mercies endure forever let the ministers of the Lord say for his mercies endure forever let all that believe in the name of the Lord say for his mercies endure forever in this street we call upon the Lord and the Lord answer us with a great deliverance the Lord is on my side I have no fear will command you unto me the Lord has taken the paths of with them that have me therefore shall I see the desire upon them that hurt me it is better to trust in the Lord than to put our confidence in man it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nation conspire about me, but in the name of the Lord we will destroy them. The voice of the rejoice and the salvation in the tabernacle of the righteous and the right hand of the Lord does not violate. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does not violate. I will not die but leave and declare the words of the Lord open to me the gates of the righteous we will enter into them we will praise the Lord this is the gate of the this is the gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter we will praise thee for thou hast heard me and become my salvation I praise thee with my whole heart before the gods I will sing unto thee I worship towards thy holy temple praise the Lord for thy loving kindness for thy truth for thou mercy the word above all he all the name in the day when we cry he answered and strengthened us with strength in my soul all the kings of the earth shall praise thee O Lord when they hear the words of thy mouth yet they shall sing in thy ways of the Lord for great is the glory of the Lord although the Lord is behind yet has he respond unto the lawyer but the proud is knoweth after of through I walk in the midst of trouble thou has revealed revived me thou shalt fetch such forth thy hand against the weight of my enemies and they, thy right hand shall save me the Lord we perfect and the Lord the Lord we the Lord we protect me and we guide me thy mercy O Lord endure forever forsake not the
the work of thy hand may you rise be thou exalted O Lord above all heavens be thou exalted O Lord above all Glory be the Lord. Let the glory be the Lord. Be thou exalted, O Lord. He went up in into a mountain, and when he sat, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs are kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn. For they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek. For they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and taste after righteousness. For they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemaker. For they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are, are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs in the kingdom of God. Blessed are ye when men shall review, re, review you and persecuted you. And they shall see all, say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be extremely glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophet which we are before you. Bless your father, bless your son, bless your Holy Spirit. I enter into the holy of the holy.
Thank you. People celebrate Jesus. Shalom Beth Knesset. Shalom Beth Knesset. It's a good season to be in the presence of the Lord. God is awesome and God is mighty. Tell somebody say happy Pentecost service. I want to share good news of God with you. Why is God creating man? God created man for purpose. Then in all the men that God has made, he made black, he made white. The color where you find thyself, you are created by God. You are not different from others. If you say you are different from others, our voices may be different, the way you speak, I mean your intonation. But when we are sick, it's the same thing. If somebody is sick, look at the way he or she cough. <coughs> I get what I'm saying? So whether you are a white or whether you are black, we cough the same cough. Isn't it? So we come from one source. But when God created everything, he began to choose his people. And people, you know, mankind was made and I was given power to choose the life he will live. Then God began to create, seeking for the people that are interested to serve and worship him. So God made you, yeah, among the people of the earth, God was interested in some certain people. And also, he's also interested in some certain people that worship idol to use them to oppose the people that worship him. But there's a difference between God and gods. Now, let me use this generation of Israel, the generation where we find ourselves. In the place where we are, we are in Southeast. In West Africa, Nigeria. This asset is when you talk about the history of our forefathers, we find that that the southeast come from the source or from the lineage of this man Jacob, Israel. And that the same Jacob, Israel happened to be the man that God sent through his son Joseph to find themselves in the land of Egypt. The Egyptians say we are idol worshippers. Then there was not like church then over there. So and there's something you need to understand about this being an idol worshipper. A person that worships idol never sympathize with somebody. Their life is always to be on top, to be on top, to be on top. If they're trying to take the position, they kill you with all means. God never wandered from his people. The life of wickedness. That's what you see in the midst of the people that serve it. They use the powers they have to torture people around them, including their wives, their husbands, their children. They can disfigure you. They can use their own child to sacrifice their gods to their goddess because they want to please their gods to their goddess these are the things that God has seen among the people some certain people and say let there be peculiar people which is you and I now this season began Pentecost began on the mountain of Sinai when God redeemed the people of Israel on Passover on Pascal night and he gave them warning, said, Moses, take them to that mountain where I met you. There, you will worship me, give me all the kind of sacrifice I need. And they left Israel under three months, before three months, that was the third month, that was 51 days. They found themselves on the mountain of Sinai, in the book of Exodus chapter 19. And God said, I'm going to talk to them. Because I'm interested in them. Somebody say, God is interested in me. Say it again. 
he said i'm going to talk to them moses i'm not going to use you as a prophet they will hear me as you are hearing me now so i'm gonna dedicate all of them as a prophet but when the time comes in the book of numbers pardon in the book of deuteronomy chapter 19 for god to come on the mountain to speak with them there was a lot of huh, thunders lightning and god began to speak with them and there god made his way known before them then when god was speaking with them with thunder they were all afraid they were all afraid all of them they were all afraid then they ran to moses then i'm taking to the book of exodus chapter one but on exodus chapter 20 from verse one and god speak all this way that was on the day of pentecost on the day of war at the mountain of sinai so when jesus celebrated pentecost and asked his disciples to celebrate pentecost it was the religious festival of his father it is jewish or israeli culture or religious festival it's called the feast of seven weeks or the feast of weeks that is called the harvest the time to bring corns you know this is the new time we uh, harvest corns in our farms this is the season then verse 2 i am the lord thy god which have brought thee out of the land of egypt out of the house of bondage thou shall not have any gods thou shall not have any gods before me verse 4 and thou shall not make unto thee any grave image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the water beneath or that is in the water under the earth and thou shall not bow read with me thou shall not bow thyself to them nor serve them for i am the lord thy god i'm a jealous god visiting the iniquities of the father upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me i stop here god said he created gods he knew there is there were gods in the sea in the river in the stream there were gods deuteronomy say in the book of deuteronomy there's something god says there in the book of deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 11 to 15 he said for god has created the gods of the land the gods of the sea the gods of everywhere he has given it to other people to worship but not you are you getting what i'm saying so pentecost simply means the day of covenant agreement between god and his people on the mountain of sinai that's where pentecost began and then we got our church we call pentecost church meaning covenant churches hmm? when you say you are a pentecostal meaning you are a covenant child are you getting what i'm saying so day of pentecost is a holy day god descended on the mountain of sinai and he spoke on the same day of pentecost that jesus said to his disciples just wait for me i'll come in a full form and i have agreement of my spirit with you on the pentecost night god jesus appeared with his holy spirit to his disciples passing by we are affected because they were passing by they saw what they were doing they believe they were interested the same spirit manifest upon them are you getting what i'm saying truth is something you will accept by yourself not by anybody trying to so sometimes young men when you have problem people are deceiving you to go and worship idol you are too big to worship idol in our land and community society at large people never talk about the origin of who they are the origin i've seen so many people called unknown gunmen they say they are freedom fighter when they were killed if mistakenly they are killed you see them tied up concussion 
because they are fighting for the land of who? You, this our land is your holy land. You cannot define it and get that freedom. And you people believe that we come from that source of three. The gods of the water. The goddess of the water. We are not born. Our fathers has never worshipped that. What happened when God descended on the mountain of Sinai? He spoke to Moses and to the people of, the, of, the, of, of, of Israel. Let, let me read verse 20. Pardon, verse chapter chapter 19 verse chapter 19 of exodus let me see verse um, 18 and 19 and the smoke and the mountain sign was all together on a smoke because the lord descended on it in fire and the smoke thereof ascending as the smoke of the forest and who mountain dark greatly and when the voice of the lord trumpet sound loud and the wax loud and loud moses spoke and god answered by by a voice so when god come appeared that day what they saw is fire and smoke no gods of this land no gods in the sea the ocean the river the stream come in the form of fire like god in the form of thunder like god do you see the difference? So God said you are too big to worship all those idols. And you, will, our fathers in this southeast, our father was brought out from the land of Egypt for they to serve almighty God, not God's. When God spoke, after the agreement, he said, Moses, you should accept person Why others go. He prepared his work, which is 20, 10 commandments, and gave to Moses. Then Moses spent some time. Before Moses would have come back, these people had started worshipping idol. They forced Aaron to make idol with them, for them. When they were worshipping idol, they were so lively, very, very happy. God was angry. I brought you to make agreement with you. After 40 days, Moses spent on the mountain of Sinai for God to prepare the screw you are using today, the Torah you are using today, the Quran you are using today, the scanner look you are using today, and all holy books you are using today in your religious gathering. Moses spent time for God to prepare it. Before he could have come back, they thought that he has died. Before he could have come, come back, they have started worshiping idols. What happened? God was angry with them. So you cannot worship idol and regain freedom. Because you are a chosen by blood. Be a Muslim, you are a chosen by blood. God chose the lineage of Abraham. Abraham happened to be the father of the first son of Abraham called Ishmael. That the purely Islamic Muslims. You cannot leave that pattern of our, of our father Abraham and then you follow the Islamic, the Jewish religion, Judaism, or the Christians. We're talking about Christians. We are religious people. Covenant people. That is about Pentecost. Celebrating the word of God that's given to mankind to hold. You have yours, I have mine. This is holy book. You have yours, I have mine. Our father that suffered to have this holy book, many died because of ignorance. But you are still with this holy book and carry God's idol in your right hand, in your left hand. You are carrying holy book in your right hand. That is no way we can regain peace. Hatred. When you see somebody's building good house, your mind is to destroy it because I do always minister to your destruction. But God minister peace. When I came in here, I said, Shalom Beth can I say, peace be unto this congregation. That's what we talk. When Jesus walked into any house, he said, Peace be unto you people. So somebody say, I'm a choosing. You are chosen by birth. God knows that there is other nation that worship idols, but there's a reason. 
he has made you and your own lineage choosing our people of peace people of love people that can accommodate anybody that comes around us may God have mercy upon our nation may God have mercy upon this war please people of God may you rise I continue this teaching in second service lift up your hands say I'm a chosen I bless you in the name of the Father may this Pentecost bring new new life into your soul may thy soul accept why you are born why you are created may God use you to create peace wherever you are may God use you to create peace in your community may God use you to create peace in your society may God use you to create peace in your various family God has sent you on the earth for we to preach the gospel of truth may his power may his holy spirit of peace manifest upon your hand wall, upon your destiny upon your expectation whatever you are doing receiving in the name of jesus christ thank you lord celebrate jesus thank you please sit make yourself comfortable thank you